So this is health level number five. And what we're going to talk about here is commonly called, like uh, commonly known baking soda. But it's not just baking soda, it's something else. But let's go for the real name. What is the real name and what are we going to talk about this? It's written here, as you can see it above here. So the first one is uh, sodium here written above. So sodium bicarbonate. And when you really want to buy just this component, I always buy it in a, in a pharmacy shop because in a health food shops, they usually don't know what it is. I don't judge people, but you know, like some of them really don't know what, what is the difference between baking powder and baking soda. So I always buy in a pharmacy shop and I say always this, I would like to have this one here. So this is the full name, so to say. So pharmaceutical natrium hydrogen carbonate. So we're going to talk here about the carbonate, so to say, sodium carbonate. Uh, I'll use the words baking soda because it's easier for me to spell and everyone knows what the real baking soda is, especially the older ones. So this is basically the, in a chemical field they call it like, this is the, the short like NaHCO3, this is the formula so to say, um, in a chemical field and that kind of stuff. And very important before I go to the really important here what is written uh, I would like just to quickly briefly say to you what is the so when the baking soda in a, in a water diluted already is then it has a pH value of uh, 7 plus so above 7 pH value and human blood is approximately the real well like human blood human blood is uh, somewhere between uh, about 7.4 pH. So baking soda is somewhere there as well. Uh, it's slightly alkaline. Uh, the really like healthy blood is also should be somewhere above about 7.4, which is slightly alkaline. The it will be better. It's recommended because all health issues are coming from. <laughs> Acidic, uh, acidic um, so to say, blood. But um, usually, it's a recommendable. The body functions uh, the best; it, it performs the best when alkaline, and that's a true. That was always like that. So let's go to the first important fact that I already mentioned, and that's basically important here is written really huge. So uh, baking powder it's not the same as sodium bicarbonate because if you take a basically baking powder and you just turn it around flip it and see it what it is inside there is a bicarbonate or what we call baking soda commonly known but there's also it can be it can contain aluminum and other shits that are not necessary to be there but they're still there you know so pharmacy shop and taking it there getting it there it's the best and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video you just say what is the full name actually what it's called and they'll give you that one so why this why this video because I tried it I tested it myself and I see it many people they're using it as well it's just not known uh, usually very simple truths very important simple truths kind of are hard to digest. I have no other idea still why, but it's just like that. So why I use it? Here the second point is regulates and helps stomach acidity. Big meals, big meals, acidic, uh, acidic food. So when I, for example, two, three nights ago, I was, it was late and I was eating some dessert, which is very sweet and kind of not used it to be awake that long. Uh, at night, but I was really wanting to have a cookie and I was eating that cookie and after that I was feeling like half an hour after that I was feeling it's still in the stomach. It's not going anywhere. So then I just uh, took um, less than a half of the teaspoon um, in a two deciliter of the water just poured it in mix it up and drank it and 
after 10 15 minutes i already like felt like oh oof, this is good this feels good because it's it's going it's moving it's going somewhere this uh this dessert that i ate and it really feels good actually like body likes it very much uh, don't worry if you if you fart after or if you burp after like uh, drinking because that's naturally what is happening inside of the stomach when when the baking soda uh, has been drink no, don't worry about it. that's natural and it feels actually good so <laughs> um, the next point here is so how and how much to take how and how much to take of the baking soda uh, this is the best I found so far like uh, comparing to many um, recommendations and so on I do it like this so I am 70 kilograms so kilograms times uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 grams of baking soda you'll have everything in the description so it's gonna be easier for you to calculate for yourself um, for me it's like I'm 70 kilograms times uh, 0 0.1 grams of baking soda which makes 7 grams per day of baking soda for me I don't use it daily uh, you'll see another purpose which is about uh, training so it's here doing training that what turned me on to, to make this video actually <laughs> because I found some very interesting exciting facts about it um, yeah so 7 grams for me per day I don't use it daily but when I use it as I said half of the teaspoon and less than half of the teaspoon depending what I'm doing sometimes when I eat some like uh, acidic food and I know it's not gonna be I don't I will not perform well in my training or whatever I'm doing activity then I usually drink it during the training or before training and during the training we'll go to that point later on but it's usually for regulating the the stomach acidity which is very important and we'll go to the next points why is still this thing so amazing uh, and that is here is why so why so yeah we went to the like calculation how much to take and then limits how long so how long can you take baking soda uh, it's basically two weeks maximum and then you have to make uh, at least the same break for two times longer so if you take it for two weeks uh, like uh, each day daily then at least uh, I wrote here like one month because it's better but two weeks at least break in between and we'll mention why later on um, but let's say it, two weeks doing it taking it and one month break that will be that's a good ratio that's a perfect balance but each person is different so each person has to know itself know its body know what's it, what it needs what it uh, wants and so on so that's another responsibility um, so why why two weeks and then one month break of using like taking the baking soda is because it's salt and salt uh, increases the blood pressure so this is kind of uh, this baking soda it's in a category of the salt it's a salt so to say partly and that's the main reason so let's go to the some facts that are really like kind of interesting and if you just do a bit research you'll be blown away so some raw facts here let's write it raw facts <laughs> some raw facts about baking soda I hope you can see it if not I hope you'll hear it <laughs> so baking soda is responsible for oxygen transportation so you transport the oxygen to the tissues and to the uh, muscle cells um, etc um, but why is that important you will see here during the training what is happening uh, second thing we already mentioned kind of partly I mentioned that the uh, um, so increases the blood pressure but it actually expands the blood vessels so expands blood vessels 
That's the second row fact. Third one is I already mentioned this. So body performs the best when alkaline. So in activities you can do, you can give much more and longer intense training uh, that is like uh, in a short period, like 40, 45 minutes, one hour. Depending on the other facts, the, your nutrition, what you're taking inside of you as a food and so on. But body performs the best when alkaline. And as you can see it here, slightly alkaline. Baking soda is slightly alkaline. And that's something that blood likes when it's not, um, it doesn't have the normal pH value. So soda kind of gives you that, turns you like into that balance, perfect balance that it should be for the human being. And fourth here, um, so where can you find the bar bicarbonate or baking soda, this component? Uh, some fruits and vegetables contains it and that's good to know um, but let's go to the really something that's very interesting here and that's here this side here i'll not go into the detail i just want to share like an idea that is actually applicable, and many people use it it's just not like uh, popular because it has actually some hidden secrets inside so look look at this one so it kills uh cancer cells and there is a, some study done. I'll put the name of the man. I think he's Italian, Italian doctor. That he already done that work and proved for the cancer that it kills cancer cells. But you do your own research. I'll just give you the name and you will see it. Mm. So kills cancer cells. Maple syrup uh, plus baking soda. Maple syrup is sweet. Uh, cancer cells like uh, they like sugar. And when you mix the, the basically the maple syrup, which is very sweet, and when you mix the baking soda like these two, then basically you, you deliver uh, to, the, to the cancer cell baking soda, which is slightly alkaline. And so you go directly, basically like you're uh, aiming with a sniper to kill the, the cancer cells, which is very interesting. If you want to, you can, change, you can uh, find something in internet about it. But let's go to this. This is what turned me on. Like this last point here turned me really on. And that's during training. So why taking the sodium bicarbonate or baking soda during training? Um, I'm not a scientist, but uh, I, I've I have some insight, which is kind of interesting. And you can do your own, like uh, some quick uh, homework to find out which is very interesting. So what is happening during the training? I'm taking like, I'm saying to do the homework, kind of to do research on your own to find really what is going on. Because I'm not scientist, I cannot say it exactly very simply, but I will kind of give you the rough idea of what is possible. So during training, so pH value in muscle cell and its acidity. So when we're doing training, let's say we have a weight and you just let now lift it like let's say 10 times and you cannot do it the, the 11th or 12th time. And what is happening actually in this, in this point? When you know like I've done this one, this repetition, I cannot do it another one. What is actually happening is that uh, in a muscle cell, um, some acidity is released that actually saying that the, there is no oxygen anymore. So basically in this acidity that is uh, present there at that point, I'll try to, to, to explain the best I can. And this acidity that is released in, in the muscle, um, muscle cells, basically saying like muscle like to, to quit, it has to quit because it doesn't have any more oxygen. And the acidity level and it's, it's, it's written here. Um, so pH value. Wait, where was it? Yes, pH value. So when when certain pH uh, value in a muscle cell is when you when you cross that pH value, when it becomes muscle uh, cell becomes acidic, you have to uh, like quit and do like muscle has to quit and do. You have to put it down the the weight, put the weight down. 
because it, you cannot do another repetition. Because acidity in a in a in a in a muscle cell, it, it crosses some pH value, and it's not anymore uh, alkaline. If I'm saying it well, um, it became acidic, and that's why because this acidity there is no any more oxygen. You have to release the the, the weight. Uh, you have to quit and to put the weight down. And what I think is happening. But you, if you know more this topic, write down in the comments or you will be just maybe adding up on your um, what you already know about this if you're into the training and so on. But lactic acid is something that is uh, naturally produced during the training. And I think that I'm talking about lactic acid here when it comes to the acidity, like uh, pH value is crossed and muscle cell became like acidic and you have to <laughs> release the weight. You have to quit and to put the weight down. But lactic acid, what I want to point out here is this. So lactic acid, this is the, so to say, I call it formula. It has C3, uh, C3 H6O3. And you can see it here. So when muscle quit, I said that. So when muscle quit is when acidity in a, in a muscle cell is crossed specific acidity, pH value is crossed and acidity is present, you have to release, you have to quit. Uh, muscle quit basically because it's painful, you have to put it on. But what is the baking soda? This is the, the uh, for the, as we said, pH value. So soda, baking soda is slightly alkaline. And look at this, like, this is very important, like lactic acid has this formula and as you can see it here above here and here this is the same so this is the baking soda formula NaHCO3 so it's here is the H for the baking soda H and here is the lactic acid H as well but it's H6 and here is C for the baking soda and for the lactic acid is C3 and as you can see it here for the baking soda it's O3 and it's the same for the lactic acid O3. I think, I believe they have some really really connection now. I think I'm talking about the same thing about the acidity in a muscle cell and why you cannot do another repetition. And how actually baking soda can really help you uh, perform more. I tried this on myself, uh, I'm not talking something that I didn't try, I tried this and it worked very very well for myself I gave 30 or 40 percent more on the training which is very noticeable you notice like okay well I can function more and I can do it you know I can do the training more and not not, not unnaturally more but naturally more and it's really amazing it blew me away so that's why I'm kind of I try to kind of I hope this makes sense like to put it to in some format to you to transfer to you this kind of uh, value that uh, baking soda which we all know uh, and heard about has like to offer uh, if you like this video like it if you want to see more content like this subscribe it that really gives me uh, power to move on and yeah and see you in the next video this was the health level number five